I recently purchased this Nissan Frontier and I've ordered a bunch of parts for it. The first one has arrived, being these AVS vent visors. So let's get these things installed. First step in this installation, and it should be pretty obvious, but we're going to roll the windows down. Next, we're going to take the provided scrubbing and alcohol prep pads and just clean the channels of the windows. Just remember that this product is held on by 3M double-sided tape, so the cleaner that you can get the channels, the better your chances are of having the product actually stick in place. This particular product comes in four pieces and where the pieces go should be pretty obvious because they are bent to match your windows. To install the actual vent visors, you just have to remove the backing tape of the 3M double-sided tape and stick them in place. Again, this should be pretty straightforward as there is really only one way to do this. Once you have the visor in place, you can apply some outward pressure to help it stick into place for now. Once it's where you want it to be, you can start raising your windows. Take note of the two foremost edges. You want to apply some pressure outward on the visor while you're raising your window up so that it can clear these edges and not get stuck. Once you raise your window all the way up, the glass will put pressure on these visors and hold them in place for a while. And once it is fully adhered, you should have no problems lowering and raising your windows. Just try to keep your windows up for a couple of days to really help it adhere to the walls of your door. If you happen to be living in a place that has a lot of sunlight right now, parking outside would definitely help in this process, as the heat of the sun will heat up the 3M double-sided tape and make it even stickier. Once your window is up, you're pretty much done and just move on to all the other windows. The install process is the exact same. So at this point, the vent visors are installed. They look pretty good, but before we end things, I wanna leave you with a few thoughts. In this video, you saw me install vent visors from the company ABS. And I would say throughout my car ownership life, I probably had like over a dozen of these things. And every time, they're pretty much always damaged in some way. Now this largely has to do with just how AVS packages their vent visors and as you saw in the beginning, these hard plastic pieces are just stacked on top of, of each other and the finish is gloss and the product itself is kind of soft. It's soft in the sense that if you, pretty much, I'm pretty sure if I just take my nail and rip it across, it'll scratch it. So they are fairly, you know, they are durable. They'll hit, take rock chips and stuff, but the finish doesn't last very long. And that's kind of the thing with all vent visors. They are all kind of made from the same stuff, but the way the AVS packages them stacked on top of each other, the edges are kind of rough, kind of like sharp. So during shipment, they just rub against each other and they just end up getting scratched up. Now with these particular vent visors that I've installed today, they do show minor signs of scratches here and there, but I've come to the point where I was like, I expect this from ABS now. So it is what it is. At least this time it's minor. It's it's a three footer. If you step back a little bit, you don't see it. But if you're up close, I can see the scratches right now on the edges. So it is what it is. Just keep that in mind. Now with that in mind, I would say that overall, I'm happy with the way that this product has turned out on this particular truck. It looks good. Um, I personally prefer these vent visors, the ones that bubble out, AVS actually makes a flush kind that's flat almost to your window. I don't believe they make it for the Frontier, but in general, they make such a thing. But I prefer this bubbling effect. And from my experience, I kind of want to say that these are less bubbled than the previous versions that I've owned. So, you know, it is what it is. It still looks good, still has the effect, so I'm happy there. Now, if you've come to this video and are unfamiliar with vent visors in general and don't know what these things are for, long story short, they essentially allow you to crack your window down and still have protection from the rain if it were raining. However, I personally don't ever really open my windows. So for me, the vent visors are purely, almost purely just for looks. I have a sentimental connection to them because I remember as a child growing up, 
my dad would get them for pretty much all of his cars. And that's because he was a chain smoker. And obviously we currently live in Washington. Growing up, I did live in Washington too. And I remember like, a, obviously in Washington, it's known for being rainy. So he's a smoker. You need to crack the window open to let the smoke out so you don't just hot box all day. So he would crack the window, have the vent visors and be able to smoke during the rain. I personally don't smoke, so again, this is purely just for aesthetics and a sentimental connection to remind me of my dad. But in my personal life, I would say that the only time that I would find a reason for this is pretty much if it were happened to be raining and I were to be going through a drive through I can crack my window and just kind of yell out my order and be protected from the rain. So in some sense, there is a function for me. And that's gonna be it. I hope this video has helped you out in some way. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you can give the video a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I've ordered a bunch more parts for the Frontier. So if you're interested in more of this build, more parts for this truck, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to further support my work, consider hitting the join button down below to become a member of this channel or become a patron on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.